I'm going to give you a breakdown of the three game series between the Oakland A's and the Houston Astros. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Alpha Omega. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to learn how to bet on sports like a pro and gain an edge over the sports books, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. The second half of the MLB season is in full swing and I literally spent the last week stuck in neutral. I'd have a great day followed by an equally bad day and I also had a couple break even days where I neither won nor lost. I can live with the results of that as there were a lot of extra inning and one run coin flip games which tells me that my statistical model is still trending in the right direction. Also congrats to everyone who signed up for a wise guy package as you all earn the rest of the major league baseball season through the world series including all wise guy plays for free. I'll talk more about that promotion later in the video. I'm continuing to grow this YouTube channel and I'll be posting as much content as possible as the second half of baseball season continues to roll and I'm getting very close to beginning to post week one college football betting guides and the start of the NFL season is less than 50 days away. I'm also really excited about the direction of this YouTube channel as I'm getting more subscribers, likes, comments, and social media interaction with every video I post. So thanks again to all of you because the way the YouTube algorithm works, every little bit counts and helps my videos reach a wider audience of sports bettors and sports fans alike. Remember, the more of the public that bets, the more value that creates. So keep sharing these videos and doing all that you're doing to help this channel grow. So there's going to be a lot of great baseball this week, but the series that I feel is the most interesting is the AL West matchup between the Athletics and the Astros. The first place Astros have been a tough team to handicap this year as they've been so inconsistent as a team thus far. A lot of this is due to injuries, but I also feel like the Astros are still trying to find their team identity and team chemistry overall. I can't give you a statistic to back this up, but no one can. There's no question that this is one of the most talented teams in baseball, but talent isn't enough to win at all. I'm not saying this team won't hit their stride and start to dominate like they have the last few years, but they aren't there yet, which makes them vulnerable, especially to a team like the A's. The A's, on the other hand, have won eight of their last 10, and I feel like the A's are on the flip side in terms of team chemistry. The Astros are definitely more talented overall, but the A's are also an extremely talented team with a history of coming up big in the clutch and also of beating the Astros. Neither team has changed significantly from the year before, and I do give a slight edge to the A's in terms of additional talent. While past accomplishments doesn't guarantee future success, the A's have the talent and the track record to beat the Astros. However, the Game 1 Alpha Omega Vegas consensus line has the Astros money line at minus 227 with a buyback price on the A's of plus 207 with a total sitting at 8.5. Implied odds mean based on the current money line odds, what is the projected implied probability of victory? Basically, it's the chances of victory expressed as a percentage. In this case, Vegas is saying the Astros have a 69% chance of taking Game 1, with the A's having a 33% chance of pulling off the upset. The Astros have the talent to justify this, but these teams are closer than these odds would have you think, so stay tuned for my statistical advantages for each team to help you make money betting on this series. I'm going to break down some of the most important factors to consider when betting this series, but before we get into the statistical breakdown between the A's and the Astros, I want to take a moment to let you know why it's important to sign up so I can help you find value and make consistent money betting on Major League Baseball. As I've mentioned in previous videos, my first half of MLB made serious money for both myself and my clients. My statistical models have been extremely accurate and I'm going to open it up and really get aggressive with my betting strategy in the second half because I'm confident that my results will make money for you and for me. Remember, I have a bunch of available packages that can fit in with any bankroll and the value increases when you sign up for longer packages with the discounts already built into the price. I have standard unit packages where you receive all of my regular daily plays and I also have my most popular wise guy packages which is where you get the most value overall. My one week wise guy package saves you over $300 and a one month wise guy package gives you 50% off. 
Regardless of which package you choose, the song remains the same. I email you my daily plays and you turn my picks into your profit. I'm also continuing my promotion where with any purchase of a Wise Guy package, one week or longer, I'm guaranteeing that you'll profit from my picks or the rest of the MLB season through the World Series is free. So you sign up for a Wise Guy package and you either make money or you get all of my MLB season picks, including all Wise Guy plays through the World Series for free. I've also never had a losing baseball season, so either way you're going to make money with me. I also don't send out Wise Guy plays every day, so you end up receiving a lot more days than your purchase length. Hit the link in the description of the video and you will turn into a winning better. Now that I've gone over why signing up with me can give you an edge over the sports books, let's break down some of the factors to consider when making a bet on this series. Expected Fielding Independent Pitching, or XFIP, estimates a pitcher's expected run prevention independent of defensive performance. This stat is the closest thing to showing a pitcher's true performance without additional calculations. Some of you may not be as familiar with this stat, however, any professional better relies on this particular stat heavily when deciding how to bet on a game. Remember, don't be intimidated if you don't know how to use this stat in your handicap. I can help you with that. The Astros rank third in all of Major League Baseball in XFIP. This isn't surprising considering the Astros' excellent pitching staff. The A's, on the other hand, rank 27th in XFIP, which makes Oakland one of the worst pitching teams in baseball. I actually like the A's pitching, but the stats don't lie. Advantage Astros While the Astros pitching staff is fantastic overall, one of the areas where the A's can take advantage and where Houston struggles is in runners left in scoring position. The A's rank 5th in terms of taking advantage when Oakland has runners in scoring position. This has been one of the steady trends with the A's, with their clutch hitting even more so in late games. This team just never gives up. The Astros, on the other hand, rank 27th in terms of limiting an opponent's runners in scoring position. So you have a top five team in taking advantage of runners in scoring position, and one of the worst teams in stranding opposing runners in scoring position. Advantage A's. One of the most important statistical metrics in the Major League Baseball Sabre metric and statistical communities is batting average on balls in play. BABIP measures how often a ball goes in play for a hit excluding home runs. There's not a pro better in the world that doesn't factor this into their betting models. The Astros rank number one in all of Major League Baseball in terms of opponents batting average on balls in play. The A's, on the other hand, rank last in the MLB in terms of offensive BABIP. So you have the best team in baseball in limiting an opponent's BABIP up against the worst team in baseball in offensive BABIP. This one stat is a huge factor in why the Astros are so heavily favored in Game 1. Advantage Astros Another stat where the A's can take advantage of weaknesses in Houston's pitching is in hits for extra bases. The A's rank fourth in all of the MLB in terms of the percentage of their hits that go for extra bases. The Astros, on the other hand, rank 28th in terms of opponents' hits for extra bases percentage. So you have one of the top teams in baseball in generating extra base hits up against one of the worst teams in allowing hits for extra bases. Remember, this stat correlates with the previous Oakland advantage. Advantage A's in addition to this preview video, I also have a link to more MLB betting guides. You'll see a link right here. I recommend that you click on that now. As always, in full disclosure, while I do provide a lot of free, useful info in these videos, if you really want to take your sports betting to the next level, you have to sign up with me, Alpha Omega. I'm currently offering multiple Wise Guy packages, with the purchase of a Wise Guy package one week or longer coming with guaranteed profit, or the rest of the MLB season through the World Series, including all Wise Guy plays, is free. Hit the link in the description and sign up now. And if you want to learn more about betting on sports like a pro and gaining an edge over the sports books, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.